Hello folks, welcome to Bar 20 Arms. Thanks for checking us out. Today we're going to talk about my favorite subject, reloading. Today I'm going to demonstrate uh, one of my favorite things to do is a kneel brass. Now kneeling is bringing the property, the uh, alloy of the brass back to almost original condition, although it's a little bit softer. The reason you kneel is to prolong the the uh, case life. Um, when to anneal? I like to do it after a five times fire. And you only anneal the shoulder. You, you anneal the neck and the shoulder. And that's all is required. And you definitely don't want to anneal the body or the rim of the cartridge. You don't want to do that. And we're going to demonstrate how to do that. But there's uh, uh, several good reasons and right here is a 223 brass that I dug out of the scrap bin uh, and it has a crack in it. Now I don't know, I'm sure you can't see it, but the crack is right here. Now if you're, if you're uh, when, you, when you examine your brass when you're reloading it's important to examine the whole case as you're sizing it because sometimes these cracks are so small you can't see them. Although a crack on the neck is not really dangerous but it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to let you down. It's not going to perform very well at all. Well, uh, annealing them, if you properly anneal your cases, you'll extend the life and, and you won't have this cracking here at the neck. Some cases crack down at the base. My 308s, they eventually, after about six or seven or eight fires, they will crack down here. I haven't had, I, although I do, anneal my 308 brass neck and the main reason I do it because I've not experienced any cracking up there on my 308 I've experienced cracking down on the, on the bottom of the on the body of it close to the rim but the reason I do it on my 308 is to uh, retain a neck tension a uh, consistent neck tension from uh, from my brass to brass from each each piece of brass, the next tension will be the same. And that's what you want. And I've also, sometimes I've got them mixed up, my three fire from my four fire, my two fire, and I was like, holy mackerel, I've got them all mixed up. And if you'll anneal those, just dump them all in a pile and anneal them, uh, it'll bring it back to, to a consistent neck tension. Because as your, as your brass is fired, it becomes work hard and it gets brittle from the heating up and and the resizing and all that so it, it, it can crack so you gotta keep that in mind so if you, you know brass is expensive right now so you want to take good care of your brass so annealing is one of those ways that you can properly uh, take care of your brass so let's go ahead and get started now I've got here just an old rag it's a cotton rag on this side now we're gonna take and we're gonna this is our new brass and actually this brass has been fired eight times and, and, and uh, it's not been annealed before. So how we're going to do it, we've got a uh, Lazy Susan here. Uh, it used to be a uh, Spice um, uh, Lazy Susan that you put on the table. And it's got a nice little ball bearing uh, turntable to it. And then I just got an old round uh, skillet and I've got water in it. Now to properly anneal brass you need to leave a one inch of the brass out of the water. And this is just plain tap water. You don't need distilled water or anything like that. So I, this is a 223 case, by the way, and it's an inch and three quarter inches long, one and three quarter inches long. So I've got a pan of three quarter inch of water here. Now I'm going to put the case in just like this in the center of the pan. Now what we're going to do is we use a regular propane torch with a regular tip. We're going to go ahead and strike it. And we're going to kind of put a neutral flame there, not a real hot one. Now I always measure this water to make sure that being an inch and three quarter, I've got three quarters of an inch of water in there. And that's going to protect the, uh, the rim and the body of the case. And I'm going to put this flame right on the neck, kind of get it, kind of get it started. And what you're looking for is a pink. Now right there it is pink, and we're going to knock it over. Now the reason I use this Lazy Susan is that you can get it evenly, you can start to spin it, and you get an even burn all the way around the case. Now I'm going to move this split one because I'm going to get that mixed up. Alright, 
And the main thing is don't burn yourself with this torch like I have done. You be careful. Alright, put the case in the middle. Hit that blue flame right on that shoulder. Give it a spin just a little bit. Turns pink. Knock it over. When you knock it over, of course, it quenches it. And it, and you have a nice, even uh, burn all the way around it. That's what you're looking for. Real weights take a little bit longer. If you, you know, 308s and uh, 223s, you know, you're probably like me. You shoot them more than any other gun. So you want to take good care of your brass. And you'll find that it's very consistent. And, and you look at, you know, you've got a couple hundred pieces of brass to a kneel. You think, oh my gosh, it's going to take forever. No, it, it really doesn't take that long. And once you get going, and you leave it right there until it starts to get pink, and then just rotate it around. And this is also a good time to look for a crack, because as you heat it up, you'll see that crack. And just keep an eye on it, on your brass. Turns pink. Give it a spin. Now, as you do about uh, oh, 25, 30 of them, this water gets pretty warm, and you'll need to change it out. Now, you can add ice cubes. You can add a few ice cubes, but for me, I just dump it out and start all over, or dump some of it out, and then get it up to three-quarter of an inch. You know, if it evaporates or gets hot, you'll want to you'll want to fix that because con consistency is the name of the game. That's what you want. Consistency. See, just in a few just in a few minutes, I've I've done quite a few cases. When you get to rolling, you can you can really get to going here, and and it won't be long. And you'll be back in the house taking out the trash and doing the dishes and stuff like that. And once you get you know. You get used to everything. It, it goes pretty fast. And like I said, you don't have to use distilled water or anything special, just regular tap water. Just clean tap water is all you need. Now these cases are going to be, you know, they're going to be easy to work. Another good reason, and I didn't mention this, and this is important, if you use a, a if, you, if you take a 308 casing and you're wanting to make a 243, a kneel at first. Even though it may be a new case or once fired, go ahead and anneal it first. It'll, you'll find that it'll, uh, it'll size a whole lot easier and it'll protect the brass. It won't stretch it or uh, stretch it out or anything and, and do damage to it. Go ahead and anneal those. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. We're going to get rolling here. Um, but there, there's some big advantages to uh, kneeling, and it's simple and it's easy. I mean, it's simple and it's safe. And you can see we've got a nice even burn all the way around that, and that's what we're looking for. Now I've tried it many different ways. I've tried a big pan and putting tin in there and heating them up, knocking them over. But without this, without this lazy Susan rotating around, I just have not been able to get a good burn all the way around. So it's important, and uh, this this works real well for me. And there's things on the market. Hornady has some uh, uh, some things that you can use to anneal, but they're kind of expensive. But this right here works fine. If you're in, you know, if you're in no big hurry, you've got a rainy day, you can't shoot anyway. You can just get your brass and and uh, you can start at four to five. Some people don't even do it to eight, but I like to do it at five is my magic number, and I'll anneal everything I got, and it works out real well. Well, thanks for stopping by Bar Twenty Arms, and we'll see you next time.